there is something, there is something in engineering called the OSI seven layer model. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so let me let me explain that model because this is um, w when I saw that this model applies to DNA. That was actually when the big epiphany occurs. So 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 let me let me explain it. Okay, let's say I'm sitting here at my computer and you're sitting here at your computer, okay? So, you know, here we are. And you send me an email. Okay? So, let's say that you you type a letter and you save it in Microsoft Word and you email it to me. Okay, so what's going on? Well, we have your words that are, that are put in Microsoft Word, mm -hmm. which is attached to an email, which is encoded into an internet. This is the sequence of steps. Yeah, basically. packet. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is how it happens. Everybody is so familiar with this. I mean, the most non-technical person pretty much understands what this is, right? Mm -hmm. And the internet packet, maybe it goes through your wireless modem and it goes to your router and then, you know, here it comes. And now at my house, I get an internet packet, right? Which gives me an email which I open the email and I, there's a Microsoft Word document attached to it and there's your words in the Microsoft Word document. Right. So you have encoded and I have decoded. Mm -hmm. And if I understand what you wrote, then communication between one human and another okay. has taken place. Yeah. Now, even computers could do this without us like Mm -hmm. Your computer could, um, the program could turn on at one o'clock in the morning and go to the Norton Antivirus website and go get an update. And all that could happen without any person ever mm -hmm. being involved. But re regardless, there's encoding in layers. Mm -hmm. This, in, your words inside a Microsoft Word document, inside an email, inside an internet packet, which is a whole bunch of layers that right. we won't get into. Right. You know, and then, then we start unpacking. And when you said the OSI model, that's where I thought you were going to go, was break that down. Well, right. And now, now I'll, I'll, I'll get to that, but I'll get to the OSI model. But, okay, but, but here, here's what's really, so I got, I got my Matryoshka dolls here, right? Got my, isn't this cute? Got my little Russian dolls. So what happens when you send me an email is you have a message that is put inside a Word document, that is put inside an email, that is put inside an internet packet, mm -hmm. and then it's all unpacked again. Unpacked on the other side. Right. Okay? So messages are always encoded from the top down and decoded from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, what about reading your words? You have an idea, which in your mind you form a sentence, which you break down to words, you type the letters into the computer, and then it goes this way, and then here I read the letters, which form words, which form sentences, which form ideas, which form my understanding. Mm -hmm. And now my idea has made it into your understanding. Yes. Okay. And that's when communication. That's took when place. Communi that, that's when communication takes place. So so this happens on a bunch of levels.